Hello and welcome back to another episode of my Newcastle United save on Football Manager 2021. Today we face Manchester United in the first leg of a Carabao Cup semi-final after they beat us 1-0 in the league which put a bit of a dent into our title hopes for the season. So we need to bounce back and show them who's boss and let me tell you, I will love it, love it if we beat them. Now, since you last saw us pick up just one point in a massive double header in terms of the league, we've played Stoke, we've bounced back, Championship Stoke albeit, and beat them 3-0 in the FA Cup with a very much rotated side, so that is welcome. We're now eight days into the transfer window, we've not confirmed any signings yet, but I've made some movements, so you'll see that very, very soon. You naughty, naughty, you teasing me, you naughty, naughty. Not only are we hoping to make some changes in terms of personnel, We've changed the formation. This is hopefully going to provide us with a bit more protection against the decent teams like Man United and Liverpool. We've got Blanco in goals with Mark Mulder and Tierney as wing-backs in attack, but obviously as full-backs. They're pinned back a little bit more, but they've still got the freedom to bomb forward. Just the one ball playing centre-back. We've got Demi Lovato just to be a little bit more no-nonsense, no but still play. Can she? Demi Lovato, yes. Upa Meccano alongside her, and Ayers pushed forward as a half-back. Just a bit of protection in front of the back four as the uh, full, fullbacks will bomb forward so he can just shift along side to side, shift along side to side, ignore the voice crack and protect them. Then we've got Sondri and Vera in there, a decent little combination, South American stuff in there. With Malcolm on the right hand side, San Maximan, different gravy, two assists by the way. We're loving life in real life with San Max Man. And Maxi Gomez up top, not like Callum Wilson. But Callum Wilson is on the bench along with Edwards, Biaz, Marcos, Coop Miners, and Max Ahrens, who's fit once again, and Woodman. I've done it in reverse. I'm a maverick. What are you going to do about it? Oh, hard man. And we're more than well aware now of how good the Manchester United team is. Pretty star-studded, if I do say so myself. No Hannibal, so at least there's no danger of us getting eaten, even if we do just put in a terrible performance. Which I'm sure you would agree is very, very possible. But we are underway at Old Traverd. Let's see if our new tactic will limit them a little bit more. Ayers headed it clear, only as far as Frankie De Jong. Oh, God. Let's see if our new tactic will limit them a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> so, the tactics maybe not the problem, or if it is, this one's not going to work. We're 1-0 down in the semi-final at Old Trafford inside 10 minutes. That's not what you want. They've caught, carved through us, caught through us, whatever, gone through us like a knife through hot butter is what I'm trying to say. Knife through hot butter, or hot knife through butter, I think that's what it is. I'm sure you'll let me know. I don't think what I said was right, regardless of what it is. Not a good start. Their first shot on target is find the back of the net, but an opportunity to bounce back immediately, and we have done so. It is absolute chaos. Dio Upe Meccano with his second goal of the season. The Jordies are going mental in a midweek game in Manchester. It's been snowing, much like real life. It's snowing outside. I don't know what's going on. It's absolute bedlam, I tell you. Absolute chaos. He turned you down. He turned you down. He turned you. Shearer turned you down. I don't know what that's got to do with anything, but I'm sure the Jordans will be singing at some stage. Round about now. Please, can we not throw this away? We're going to. Hakimi. Their goal started with a Hakimi throwing, but Greenwood still got it, unfortunately. And he's looked for Isaac in behind, has De Jong, but it's collected by Ruben Blanco, the one trusted man in this whole starting 11. He's, oh, great distribution out there. Let's go then. He's got Mark Mulder on the outside if he can find him. He doesn't need him, apparently. So Maximan from range, wide. Unfortunate, but it's much, much, much better. We've looked far more comfortable since that first goal. Oh no, not another Hakimi bloody throw in. Okay, let's hit him. He's injured. If we, I don't know. I've not. I've not. Yeah. Okay. Instructions. Uh, no, not that. How do I find opposition instructions? Uh, tactics. Here we go. Mm, you know what's coming, don't you? Uh, where is it? Uh. Yeah, okay. He's already a bit broken, so let's do that. And let's hit Tellez as well. See if we can get him riled up, get him sent off, maybe. You never, ever know. But here is that man on the left-hand side for Manchester United. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, no. Good clearance from Demi Lovato. And are we going to counter-attack now? Not 
with distribution like that, unfortunately. Uh, we've won the header. Go on, Fausto Vera, make it. Yes, he has. Right, okay. Oh, no. Ayer, take, take bodies, mate. Don't get sent off, though. That's one thing. Isaac threw on goal. Chaotic start for Newcastle United. 2-1 down. Nearly half an hour played. Mm, we're still in it. That's the main thing. I don't know if away goals have any effect at semi-final and all that good stuff. Who knows? Oh, I wish Ayers just completely wiped him out there, but it's sort of half-hearted. Not good enough, Christopher. Not good enough. That finished more than good enough, however. Oh, so much pain. All I know is pain. Yes, proceed with tactical changes. I wouldn't have tried to make them otherwise, would I? Idiot. Malcolm's injured, so that's good. Marcus Edwards is coming on, apparently. Oh, it's all going to pot. It's all going to pot. Nearly half an hour played. An injury. Two goals conceded. One scored. It's about to be... No, it's not. Okay. But we have a chance to come at them again. Recycle it. Work it nicely. Let's just... Nothing too chaotic. Okay, that is... Well, I'd like it a little bit more chaotic than going back to Ruben Blanco. But here we are. And... Uh, Okay, that was chaotic. Um, thankfully, he's saved it. He's made up for his error, but absolutely abysmal. Nothing short of it from Ruben Blanco. I should have mentioned the fact that I trusted him because uh, he's not going to repay really me now, is he? Headed over by Isaac. Can we just calm down? Oh, my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait. Everybody just calm down! In short, no. No, we can't. They've got the ball again. Can we get in at halftime? Not... Not 3-1 down. So, 3-1 down. Isaac scored a hat-trick. This fella is unreal. He's the bane of my absolute life, I tell you. He scored so many goals against us in this in this save. I, I am not happy about it at all. I hadn't heard of him until Manchester United signed him, so that's at least something. But, yeah, Ruben Blanco got a hand to it. Not enough. So, brilliant. We're loving life. We're going to go into half-time. At least two goals down, I'm going to guess. Let's berate them. We can't. Brilliant, that's good. Oh, we are a shambles. An absolute shambles. They've had four attempts on goal and scored the pair of them. No, nope, scored all three. That None of that made sense. I said they had four shots on goal. That's not a pair. Two's a pair. And then I said they've scored the pair of them. So it's not even all two of them, even though it's four of them. It's three. Hope you followed that, because I don't have a clue what's going on, quite clearly. We're thrashing our arms about, though. Sort it out. I'm going to try and change some stuff, see if we can do anything different. I don't want to change things too much, but I want to get the ball to Fausto Vera in the middle of the park. He's a great player. He's not showing it yet today, but hopefully we can get him involved, involved a little bit more. Going to take things a little bit more narrow and shorter passing. That's what we like to do. We'll see if that works at all, and maybe look for the overlap to get the fullbacks bombing forward as the second half gets underway. They've taken off Hakimi for Wabsaka. Not a bad replacement, is it? I don't think we have that kind of options. Not fair, not fair at all. But we have a throw-in. That's what we do have. Fausto Vera, let's see if our change in tactics will help things. No, no they won't. Kieran Tierney will play it off Fernandes despite him standing just about a foot away from him. So that's brilliant. But here is Ruben Blanco. Man United have painted the pitch blue, so that's quite exciting and uh, I guess I don't know why they'd pick blue and not red considering their biggest rivals Manchester City but let's not question the fake groundsmen okay let's not do it here's Marcus Edwards down at the right hand side come on then let's make something happen the ball into Gomez was not good but Ayer does collect the scraps and f*** me he is s*** isn't he I rejected the offer from Shandong I definitely shouldn't have thankfully Ruben Blanco's bailed him, bailed him out <sighs> okay well I am going to be looking for a new centre mid to play in that half-back role and protect the back four because Ayer cannot play a five-yard pass, it would seem. So that's excellent, great stuff. We are ding, aren't we? We are. But Ruben Blanco with a free kick deep in his own half. Just don't give it to Ayer. Don't give it to Ayer, I said. Okay, thankfully he kept it there. He couldn't really mess that one up. If anyone could, though, it's probably Christopher Ayer, isn't it? Yep, yeah, here's Marcus Edwards. Right, okay, they're both booked, so that's concerning. Good tackle from Tellez. In... Oh, it's so bad, and nobody there to collect the loose ball either. The fullbacks are meant to be on attack duty, and that's just not, not happening. But there is room in behind them, so that's excellent stuff. We need to stay in this and go into the second leg with a chance, because right now, it's not looking good, is it? Absolutely f***ing not. Yeah, we're going to double Mazala. One on support, one on attack. Edwards come in, comes in to play behind the strikers, those being... Gomez and Wilson as the Maxman comes off, having played absolutely woefully. 
Let's see if that'll change things at all. We'll maybe make Demi Lovato a ball-playing defender as well as time ticks on and we aren't doing anything. So this is brilliant. My changes are definitely working. I am an absolute fool. I said I was as bad as Derek McInnes. I thought, maybe we're not. Maybe I'm not as bad as Derek McInnes because... We lost 2-0 to Hibs in a terrible performance, but now I'm beginning to think, yeah, yeah, I am as bad, if not worse. I didn't think that was possible. Fausto Vera's having an absolute stinker out there, so we're going to tell Marcos to come on. Yeah, he, he, we're just going to bring him on, I'm not telling him to just, he didn't have a choice in the uh, option, to be honest. But here we go, we're shooting on sight. <laughs> Bet you're thrilled about that, absolutely buzzing. I'm going to go a bit more direct as well, because clearly whatever the hell we're doing right now isn't working. Can we get a goal, please? Make it a little bit more tight going into the next game. Probably should have made it a little bit more tight. So we're still in it with a 3-1 deficit. That's not the greatest, but not the worst. But this is terrible. I've also just clicked praise by accident instead of berate. So this has gone f***ing woefully. There's no point in denying it. I am an absolute manager and Malcolm's gonna be out for at least two weeks so that's very very encouraging tell you what we're gonna be back with the Manchester United game the second leg of course and then Leeds United in the league after the transfer window is shut so I'll be able to update you and all that and hopefully we'll have done some business before then because lord knows we need it we are terrible I hate all of it, absolutely all of it. But if you've enjoyed this video and enjoyed my meltdown, please do smash the like button, hit subscribe with notifications on so you can come back for that second leg. And also check out some of my experiments. I was doing an Andy Carroll based one, three videos, and it was interesting to say the least. So I would recommend that you check that out and comment down below. Let me know what you think of them too. Thank you very, very much for watching. Take care. Guess what? I'm gonna go cry again. Ha <laughs> ha. Love life.